Welcome to another adventure with your ghostly findings, paranormal and unearthly wanderings. That's right, Julie. Today I brought her to the West Terrace Cemetery. Now, she is in her utmost awe here because this cemetery is so big. Now, she's just walking around getting the feeling of this place. As you know, guys, I've been here many, 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 many times and I still haven't really scratched the surface of this cemetery. So, I took Julie over to the Smythe family chapel over there, the chapel. I took her over to there. She walked around and she just had... This cemetery just gives you an overwhelming feeling of everyone rushing at you to talk to you at once. Um, this cemetery is so huge. It is huge here. And she's just, um, just having Julie walk around. Now, I probably won't do an investigation here because I've been here so many times, but because I have Julie, which is down there, walking around, thought I'd just let her be and I'll chuck this as an investigation but yeah she's just taking photos getting the feel of the place and she's got her spirit box going at the moment patrol train Patrol train. It's a bit windy today. And there's a plane. It's going to be on the trees. Plane there. So where are you feeling, Miss Julie? Um, I just said my name. I just said my name. Yeah, I'm hearing your name a lot in here. Um. Because when you bent down to take a photo is when it said Julie Hyde. Because it's, it's, it's saying because you must be hiding behind the, the, behind the tombstone. Okay. I heard Julie, Julie Hyde. That was weird. That's when you said, no, Hyde. I said, no, it was Hyde. When you, as you bent down, you went, Julie Hyde. I was hiding. Yeah, that was weird, guys, because it did. It said Julie Hyde. <laughs> so, yeah, it's just as she popped down to take a photo. Um, at the moment, I think, as you said before, uh, it kind of feels like everyone wants your attention. Yeah. You don't know where to go. Yeah. Yeah, everyone's trying to grab you. But I'm hearing whispers, definitely, as you said. Yeah, you do hear. Yeah, she's overwhelmed because look yeah. at it, guys. Just look. Compared to the photos you would have seen in Unearthly Wanderings videos, uh, the, then when she's gone to cemeteries, compared to mine in South Australia. Now, mine are just absolutely huge. It goes on and 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 on. This is the cemetery where the Somerton man is buried. And I've done an investigation here. And I... But I'll bring her out. Just a shower. The West Terrace Cemetery. Now she's pretty well got a smile from ear to ear, guys. She's smiling from ear to ear because there's so many here. And she's having a ball, but she won't say it. <laughs> but yeah, this is it. Sixty-seven. Keep your eyes open for 
Anything and everything, guys. Doesn't matter what it is. Keep your eyes open. Oh, you're going to walk straight through a spider web. <laughs> this is where it starts getting creepy. near the main road. Up, yes, it does. It? Certainly does. It changes. One good thing, there's no Mr. Snakeys here. I can tell you that right now. <laughs> Never seen a snake in here, so you're lucky. No Mr. Snakeys. That's where it all changes. This is where a lot of them are unloved. A lot of unloved ones in here. Oh yeah, look Kimmy. Here you go, Kimmy. And Noni May Way. And Noni May. Yay, Noni Yay. May. Look. Let me know if you're feeling anything, guys, because this, yeah, this section just changes. This changes this section. As Julie is investigating, it is changing. The atmosphere changes. Any spirit here in the West Terrace Cemetery that wants to speak to us? Yes, you know my name. Do you know the other person's name? Julie. Be no disrespect. This will not hurt you. Just gives you a voice. We're just looking. Jemima. Edward. Joel. Woolwood. Is there anyone who wants to come through? Do you not mean any disrespect? Do you know which state Julie's come from? Do you know the state? Hey. Little Lottie.
Oh, I want to turn the S-Box off. This is the one, Miss Julie. This is the one. This one here, guys, remember this one? I reckon it's an underground burial because it's got all, you can see down, like a catacomb. Really? Yeah, this is the one. Because you can see down there, see all the brickwork? And it actually goes down. You can just see it here. And it actually goes down like a um, oval, like an oval shape. A vault, yes. Because it goes down more. Oh, yeah, there's an archway. Yeah, there. it's an archway there. And this is for Christina. And there's one here, guys. Now, I reckon she's buried down here. I think she's buried I think she's buried down there just down there it's like a vault no one's for Christina Payne that's who's buried that's the only one person buried in here no there's more than that in there that's, that's all there is on the headstone yeah the headstones might be missing yeah. or something maybe that definitely looks like a vault so that's something a bit unusual different guys 1852. Oh, birdie. Someone house there. That's a grave. It's a grave. No, it's a grave. Yeah. Judy thought a homeless person was staying in here, guys. <laughs> but... And I'm being disrespectful, but there's nothing. You can't see anything anyway. Yeah. But yeah, Julie thought that was someone. A homeless person could be living in it. There, that's William. Oh yeah, it's just like an above the yeah. vault thing. Yeah. yeah that's Williams. Eighteen fifty two there for G. Bennett and Haynes. There's Fanny over here. Dear little Flo, oh, here it's only six. And they've got some cool ones here, haven't they, guys? Really cool. Henry Herman Orson died in 1870. Come from Middlesex in London. There's a few in there. John Jefferson, a poet, scholar, chancellor, the Adelaide University. May you rest in peace. Let Julie do her walk around while I slowly start walking back to, to the car. Just let her get a feel. Any spirits here? That want to come through? Anyone who wants to communicate with us?
It's stinking hot today, guys. It's only 36 degrees Celsius. As you can see, there's just so many to look at. And I think it's overwhelming, Julie, <laughs> a little bit, guys. <laughs> I think my cemeteries are overwhelming, though, just a fraction. <laughs> it's too much for her. I'm stressing because there's so many, so many here compared to her cemeteries. But I thought I'd do, I'll just leave her to do her unearthly wandering. Allow her to just investigate. And she'll be in her joy. She'll be in her element. She's probably got a smile from ear to ear. <laughs> but yeah. And this is uh, Colonel Light's housekeeper. But I, I've taken a photo so she can read it. But I'm just going to leave her, leave Julie just to look. Look around, get the feel. I hate this cemetery with a passion, really do. It's just too overwhelming, it's too overwhelming here. So I'm letting her go to see how she feels, see what she feels. Just, yeah, let her wander. 1855. Eighteen sixty two, eighteen seventy five. Just allow Julie just a look. Is there any spirit who wants to say anything before I actually turn this off for a little while? Sit with the kids. Talking to my camera now. It's just so quiet. All right, I'll turn you off for now, guys. How you feel in here? Mm. Mm. It's a lot different up here. <laughs> it Certainly feels is. kind of like um, they're annoyed. They want to be left alone. They're a little bit curious. A little bit of anger mixed in there. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It's kind of that more just go. Yeah, because they get so many here for ghost tours and stuff. That yeah. Do they up here? Yeah, because okay. this is the older section, so they do get a lot of ghost tours around this area. Mm. There's a lot of um, plaques to tell you, like, the famous people, and they do mostly all that. So they'd be walking around, trampling around, and they won't get their sleep, yeah. internal rest. Because that's the feeling sense. I get sometimes. Mm. Makes sense, definitely. Yeah, because they do lantern tours. Mm. Well, there you go, guys. That's Julie's perspective of the West Terrace Cemetery. So, I want to say thank you for watching this video. Thank you for just being there, being my little my little ghostlies. So, until our next adventure, somewhere in South Australia, I want to wish you all the best. And always remember, watch out for Mr. Snakey. And I'll catch you later. Bye.